All right, man, take a seat, buckle up. We're nearly starting with the uh, orientation of the car here, but we got calls pending and we got to get to them. So we're rolling. We're going to have to learn on the way. All right, today I set the car up. One of the things I love about the concealability of a J-frame in a pocket holster, and especially putting it in a cargo pocket, I know a lot of people aren't big fans of this method, but for the woods it makes a lot of sense, where we're carrying a gun, maybe not so much for problems that we encounter in the woods, but because we don't want to lock it in a car. In the area I'm in, that's more of my concern, is I don't want to leave a gun in the car, and bringing it into the woods on a hike or on a camping trip also poses problems of of losing it, banging it off of things, or it getting exposed to inclement weather. Well, if you throw it in a cargo pocket in a holster, we can button the pocket up. Or if you have a pocket that has have other ones that have Velcro on them, and you can Velcro it down. And it, it provides an awful lot of protection that I'm not worried about getting uh, little stickers or, or bugs or lint or whatever else, you know, dirt from the trail. If I slip and fall, I don't worry about the, the gun getting messed up or getting dirt in it like I would if I had it on a hip holster. Um, and exposed. The other thing is if I even leave this open, if I know there isn't going to be inclement weather and it's in my pocket, the other button tends to keep it, as you can see in here, tends to catch the handle of the pistol and keeps me from being able to, keeps it from, from just popping out on its own. It tends to stay in there. Well, now if you like that video, go ahead and subscribe because there's a whole lot more to come. As soon as I, uh, Finish up these calls. Go 10 8. County 291. 291. 